everyone welcome to study automation in our last video we have seen how we can execute our postman collection outside from postman we how we can run directly from command prompt and for that we installed new man and using new man we have a, we have run our postman collection one is we have exported it and then we have execute another one is we can directly use url and execute this so these two things we have seen in our last video now in this video we will see how to generate reports html reports or any any different kind of report so in that if you go in google and write here new man reporter you will see many different kind of tools for example one is npm module which is new man reporter html extra so if i will just open it html extra it is saying that you need to install this one html extra i'll just click copy and then i can go here and see right so how beautiful it is right so we can check this one how we can execute so for that i'll just open my command prompt right click let me open command prompt again and we have copy so npm hyphen i npm i and new man so what i'll do after i i'll add here g also hyphen g so it will be installed globally you don't need to install always npm i or npm install hyphen g and new man reporter extra that you need to install and after that we can execute our postman collection so here if you will go you can check the command as well so here it is saying that you need to just pass npm install hyphen s and then this thing but what i'll do yeah this is the command that we need to run html extra just you have to pass hyphen r and html extra let's wait for it to install yeah so this one is installed now let's navigate to desktop then cd postman collection and if you will see right now we have only this postman collection so what i'll do i will run the command this command new man run and my postman collection after that i'll pass here r r for report and then i will write html extra this is the only thing that you need to write and click enter so here first it will execute all the postman collection and then we will have here report so if i will go now in our folder you can see we have one more folder created new man if you will open you will see one html file just double click on it <clears throat> and then you will see what all test cases execute executed and all these things right so you can see the dashboard complete dashboard with all the you know features available so summary you can see from here this is summary page request so total five request we have get all users get by id add users delete user if one, any any test case fail right you will see that in red that means this delete by id we have some problem in this if you expand you will see that this is the request this is the response and then what all test cases we have applied here it is saying a status code 200 failed so what is the error exactly it is saying we get 204 and assertions applied for 200 you can click on top go to fail test directly directly and and you can see all these informations in one page so that's why this html uh, this new man tool is is popular 
that you don't need to do anything as a tester we can have all these details right with just a few click and you can able to run it so i hope you are able to get how to you know use postman how to run it the next part that i'll discuss is data driven approach so suppose if we have here add user and in add user we can say body right with only hard coded data now suppose i need to use a csv file or json file to you know inject multiple names right for testing so how we can do that thing that we will see in our coming videos thank you so much for watching this